Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on this summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25th, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I called it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 79 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this 13th episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of Niue, Sweden, and the Republic of the Congo. <laughs> Tituan is alternating layers of taro, papaya, and coconut milk to be wrapped in the giant banana leaves and then oven baked. This dish, called Takihi, is from the Polynesian island nation of Niue. The island has a population of only about 1,600, but fortunately, one of the islanders made a YouTube video showing us how he cooks. The texture of the dish is soft. It has some aspects of a dessert with the papaya, referred to by the Niuans as pawpaw, and the sweetness from the banana leaves, but the taro and the salt make it savory. I'm glad I got to try some authentic food from such a tiny remote country that I'll probably never have opportunity to visit. I needed a new bed for my apartment, and I haven't eaten any food from Sweden yet, so I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone. In addition to selling furniture, IKEA has both a Swedish restaurant and a Swedish market. Since I went shopping on the weekend, I picked out some items I can cook in the microwave at work later in the week. I chose Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, and lingonberry jam, which constitute a typical Swedish meal. I also tried some blueberry juice. The lingonberry is a type of cranberry, so between that and the mashed potatoes, I felt like I was eating an early Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, here's my new bag. After assembling it, I also had a Swedish snack. Today I'm back at the Roger Miller restaurant in Silver Spring. And uh, last time I tried food from uh, Cameroon, and this is a restaurant which specializes in Cameroon food. Um, but today I'm trying a national dish of their neighbor, the Republic of the Congo, and it's called Pule uh, Mwambe, and that is chicken with a palm nut sauce. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from Western Asia and Eastern Europe. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring.